in the stream. Yeah. Two minutes. What are we talking about this morning? No, but it's already, it's already starting. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So this is uh, the Mardog's daily live chat. We're uh, October uh, 27th, 2016. And uh, we're here with John, Kerry, Belinda, and myself, Nelson. And uh, so, yeah, Kerry, you're, just before we started the recording, um, you said uh, two minutes to go. What are we talking about? So what are we talking about, guys? Well, I guess we're going to talk about stuff like how cool Mardux marketing is um, and whatever else just happens to come up that is of interest. Well, actually, w before the conversation started, we were talking about that. We were talking about how people aren't being trained properly in, in affiliate marketing. Exactly. Uh, or in any marketing, for that matter. That's it. Exactly. Generating, none of it. Yeah, that's very that's it. So that could be a, that could be a topic there. So who wants to start off? Go ahead. The internet marketing industry needs to be transformed because um, there are too many people out there being hyped up, thinking that they can do a whole lot uh, for a little or just about nothing. You know, people want the world for free, and it just doesn't work like that. Because to be really successful. Sorry. in any business to be successful in any business especially in an online business you know one has to work one has to put effort into it and one has to invest what they can when they can or you just won't um become you won't make much of something out of yourself that's my little spiel at the moment yeah that's right no no that, that's for sure uh, Belinda, you got uh, you were talking about that also about how you know people are being taught wrong in marketing. Um, yeah, I, now I can't remember what you said, but you had a couple of good points before we started. <laughs> when I even took the time, I even took the time to tell you guys, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, you know, maybe you should introduce our panel. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm 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 Beverly over here, but. No yeah, yeah, Belinda's the one in the dark that's hiding from us. So we got her on video, and she that's, that's apparently as far as she's going to go. I'm trying to give you mercy and not scare you first thing in the morning. Yeah, there you he's go. Recording from the, he's recording from the Death Star there. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. I like natural light. Thank you. Yeah, you, guys, you guys go ahead and talk. Yak, yeah, real quick. I got to I gotta get this up and going. The, the, the broadcast isn't on our website for some reason right now. Okay. Lovely. So we're not being recorded. It, 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 is, it is being recorded. It's just that it's not being shown on the site right now. That's fine. Uh, I think that John touched on a couple of really good points about, you know, you have to invest some money. You do have to invest time. And it's, it's not uh, like there's so many websites out there when I'm even surfing or doing safe lists that say, hey, get this and we're going to make money overnight kind of thing. Yeah. Got like a push button system. Well, right. None of them, they're like going down a rabbit hole, you know. You go down, you give them your money and nothing happens. <laughs> I, I like to touch on this because while that's true, there are exceptions. But here's the thing, you're either trading your money in for time or your time in for money. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, even if you do things, let's say, the free or cheaper way, which will take you more time, it doesn't necessarily get you where you want to be. It, again, it depends because not every situation is quite the same, exactly. but the general idea is the same. Exactly. And like for safe lists, I teach a creative method on that. I don't, I don't spam the safe list like everybody mm -hmm. else does. I don't care mm -hmm. about uh, recouping credits. That's why I'll only join free safe lists, not paid ones, because I don't need... To do what I'm going to do, I don't need to have the paid version. Right. What I do is I look for at the end of their emails for their name, phone number, email. Mm -hmm. I contact them directly. Okay. Just like I have a software now that fills out capture pages, which is the same concept as safe list, but more of them have their names, phone numbers, and emails at the end of their autoresponder message than the safe list even do. But when you're, let's say you, you're starting, I start on a shoestring budget. I mean, I've been on all sides, okay? I, I've done marketing in all different ways. Um, so I understand where everybody's coming from uh, at different levels. And so if you, let's say you're at your worst case scenario and you're really on a tight budget and you don't have a choice, but you're really motivated and you're serious about your business, then this is where you get creative and think outside the box to do something with a safe list like that. Yeah. Don't be afraid to call them. Get get coaching, get training, do something to learn how to handle your leads. Yeah. 
I mean, I, you know, I mean, that's part of it. I agree. I mean, I've been, you know, I've been doing this for a while now. I haven't been as successful as I would like. Um, but also, I must say, you know, lately I've been extremely busy with my offline work with teaching English and everything. But the point is, is all this time that I've been around, I've learned and I've improved and I've learned and I've improved. And when I have the funds to invest I invest it, and I invest it in things that I consider to be of, of value. And you, you know, you do what you can do when you can do it. But right. the, it's like you were saying, you have to do something. Because and when you can afford it, you scale up and get exactly, further. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, because you know, free is fine if that's you know if that's what you can afford for the moment. But once you're at a position to to where you can do a little bit better, then do so. Or you know, um, go without wasting money on other things, um, and invest it in your business a little bit. But right. do stuff, you know, because you have it's typical for programs like you know, in Mardox, for instance, you know, there are a lot of members. <laughs> there, there, there are a lot of members, right? But I, let's talk about my downline. My downline, I have, I think, about ninety folks, but many of them don't really log in and do anything exactly you have a dead downline and yeah. that's that's very common you could be yeah, a go-getter yeah, but yeah. most of them won't be exactly and 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 you can't you know i've learned over the years that you know you can't worry uh, about the the 98 percent of folks that don't do anything but when you've got that two percent you that run with it, right? That's what I told with. him. Yeah, yeah. Me and Murdoch were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, and it's and it's true. It's very true. And See, I, that's the, like. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I thought. Yeah, I, I thought you were, <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I wasn't purposely trying to interrupt. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to say was like in my case. Now, this is not for everybody. This is this is some things are going to be a personal preference. Like, there's there's a lot of great methods out there, and there's no yeah, just right. one way. To exactly. grow your business, it's exactly. it's whatever you're comfortable with, whatever fits exactly. you, your personality. In my case, I'm a techie girl. I love my toys. I love my software tools. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't mean that I don't still make my. I still like to pick up a phone. I'm old school. I still pick up a phone. I'll get. I'll, I'll close seven out of ten because I don't try to close. I, I build relationships, yeah. and you can't do that. I don't care how good at email marketing you are or texting. You can, it's not the same. There's a place for that, but to me, it's secondary, not first you know that's sure. the way I, I do it but sure. I do have software to gather my leads to because uh, I am a lead broker and and okay. you know, because to me I need to automate that part because it's yeah. so time-consuming but, yeah. but long as you're doing it responsibly and you have things running in the background at the same time that you're still actively building your business you're not it's not like it's push button and you go off right. and just don't do nothing like yeah people exactly. are being taught this stuff like it's great to have software when you know how to use it yeah. in contingency with other things that you're already doing to yeah. grow your business right it's a means to an end it's not the it's not the um it's not the end all be all of what you're doing push right. a button and everything works for you and your paypal account gets filled and junk like that that's right. not the business that's not work and, no. and how and how how can you have pride in everything and what you do? I mean, anyone who has an entrepreneurial mindset should not even begin to fall into something like that. Because as an entrepreneur, you know, from the beginning, you have this, you have this drive. You have this certain something that you can't explain to anyone else who doesn't have it because they think you're crazy. And, mm -hmm. and, and you take your desire you take your passion and whatever it is and you run with it and you might fall on your face 10 or 15 times but time number 16 hey there's some success and you go on and on and on and on right and the entrepreneur he just you know he he, he sees he or she sees a need and they try to fill that need it it should be something that you if you don't have passion for it at the moment, that you can develop passion for. Because right. if you don't have passion for it, why bother with it? Yep. It's like having a job you don't like, you know? I mean, uh, 
people, you know, we have jobs, we have to earn money, but sometimes you're stuck in a dead end job. You hate going to work every day. And this is why folks, you know, like we entrepreneurs, we say, hey, you know, I want to do my own thing. And, um, and you, you love what you do and you do it like crazy. And now, um, with I, you know, I mainly teach English now and I want to um, start doing that more online. And over the years, I've really developed my teaching skill and stuff. Like, and it's a, I really, really, really love doing it. And I love, it's like, it's going to be hard for me to transition from offline business English teaching to online teaching because I just have this thing for having my there in front of me and teaching my class because and seeing their face expressions and seeing that they get it they're yeah yeah and 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 because the way i teach is is a bit different than than many teachers and 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 my students love it because they they see that i really care about them and 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 i want them to learn real practical stuff and and everything and i and, and i really love it and they see that and i feed off of their appreciation and it's just a wonderful thing. Right. I know. I see because you feel that energy and stuff. And yeah. if they have face-to-face -face cam, it, it can be the next best thing. Not quite yeah. the same, but it, you know, sure. better it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, yeah. And that's why I mean, <coughs> doing online would be easier for me because then I wouldn't have to do so much driving. And my car drinks too much gas anyway. And you could wear your bunny slippers while you're teaching. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you can wear bunny slippers. <laughs> How about, how about how about guys? How about Mardox buddy slippers? <laughs> oh, there's a good seller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Chris, oh, just oh, around the corner, kids. Talking talking about selling, um, yes, I joined a website called Red uh, Redbubble, and okay. um, it's a website it's that Redbubble. you send your graphics over to, and they will then put your graphics on. Uh, a throw pillows, cups. Uh, I don't even have a logo. I have no clue what I yeah, want my website the, logo or anything to look at. Look yeah, like. no, um, what I'm getting at is Mardox. I'm gonna throw the Mar. I'm gonna throw the um, the uh, the Mardox logo over there and be making hoodies, caps, uh, all sorts. I think there's like there's like 50 things that you can shop and order from. And um, I was like I was telling um, Belinda today, we're gonna set up a fund. Uh, where the money from these sales or the, these purchases are going to go into a fund to help people who don't have uh, the technology to get into marketing and promoting themselves, making videos and stuff like that. John knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. And uh, I think it was really successful what we did with John. And, oh, uh, outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. You can't, I, well, I can't well, you're, 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 on, you're on it right now, right? <laughs> exactly. I think exactly. You I would Belinda in. Tell Belinda. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, Belinda. Oh, Belinda, Belinda, Belinda yeah. knows what I'm talking about. John John needed okay. a computer and he's the one that got it. Yeah. I'm yeah. the next one to get I'm, I'm the next one to get my special thing. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I wanna be special too. Yeah. You <laughs> are special. Oh, you. Oh, I didn't think oh, you're on our call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only yeah. special yeah. people allowed here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not making fun of handicapped people. I meant that in a different way, just so you know. Yeah, yeah sure. No, no, There's no. nothing wrong with driving the yellow bus, just so you know, kids. <laughs> it's true. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Nelson, you turned your mic off. Do you know that? You may have done it by mistake. Or he might, or might have been a blessing. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm coughing my head off. Missing, can't even disguise. Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm coughing my head off. Is, oh, okay. Yeah, we didn't want to Thank you. John, John is, is like very very broke well um you know getting out of financial mess and stuff like that and i was um kept talking to we're talking about doing things and i said well you know when i get my get another system because my system's not so great and blah 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 and then my laptop actually crashed i had to start using my sons and um and then nelson said that he'd do a fundraiser and um, the thing about it is, it had to be, um, shoot, not trying to think of my English word, but um, it had to be sort of like anonymous. There you go. <laughs> I have to think of my English word. Yeah, I know. That, that's, what, that's what my friend Evangelist went through. He, had, he stopped remembering a lot of English words and, and was. <laughs> 
Yeah, and um, so anyway, um, so he did a fundraiser for little Timmy to get his um, to get his laptop, and yep. little Timmy got his laptop, and he's so so appreciative, and 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 yeah, and this is the beginning of me, you know, getting my act together and getting my online stuff together, and taking off with all of the plans that I have. It's still step by step. But this has really, really, really helped me. And Nelson is somebody who actually, he put his action where his talk is. Yep. You know, you don't see that a lot these days. And especially, and I have to say, I have to say, this is something else interesting in the industry. You, you have people who, in the beginning, they may not have a, very many means, but they have this, passion to be a part of the industry and and and, and that they in the beginning they are dismissed as a as a freebie kicker until you see their passion and stuff but some people really shy away from helping others you know once you see that this is someone not trying to um you know get everything they can from you for free you should do whatever it is that you can, no matter how small it may be, to give them a helping hand. And um, this is another reason why networking in the industry is so important. Because when we talk to each other about what we do, how we do what we do, stuff like this, we train one another and we motivate one another and we learn things. And it's motivation to, to not give up and to get out there and keep doing it because we're all in this together and it's not like okay i have my thing here and if you're successful or not i really don't care i'm gonna make all kinds of money and that's ernie. what it's all about and ernie's here welcome ernie. welcome ernie welcome welcome hello welcome, sir. you may say you can't something. hear us yet no <laughs> he has that look like where have i landed now he's like oh Yes. If, I, if, Ernie, if Ernie if Ernie is looking Ernie is missing the party. If Ernie is looking <laughs> at the video uh the video on the website, he's seeing that I'm doing a collage. Right now it says good people think smarter, not harder. <laughs> uh-huh. And work harder, harder not uh, work smarter, not harder. Exactly. Uh, uh, Ernie, can you hear us, sir? You might have to click Yeah, I think it all comes down to relationship. And I, I think that's what, and you know, I've spent a lot of time um, online just talking to people on Skype. And Me too. I Thanks kind of got away from doing that for a while, but, you know, I think that's really where it's at. Here's the building relationship. It is, but there, you have to do it in a balanced way. See, there has to be a leverage of time because if all you do is talk to people all day, you're not getting things done. That's either. right. So there is a, there is a balance. It. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it can be very time consuming just talking on Skype. And if you're not getting anything for it, like, I guess you have to choose who you talk to and, and you know. I teach how to how to I teach how to ask a few questions in the beginning and know right away at least eight out ten times. So what questions continue. would you? Uh, that's a good that's a good point there, Belinda. Like, what kind of questions would you ask? Okay, let's just let's do a little role play, okay? And you can make up anything. It doesn't have to be like your real life. Just something for the role play. I'm a duck. You know <laughs> what? You're. You're a lot of things, but we're, that's another story. <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what was the lifetime membership cost? This went up to seven yeah. fifty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quiet over there. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Wave your this power. We know your fun. boss. Okay. So anyway, um, okay. So uh, <laughs> you're just going to distract me, aren't you? <laughs> okay. So. Let's pretend your name is, I don't know, whatever your name wants okay. to be. Let's just use Carrie, for Gilligan. example. Yeah, um, let's use Carrie. <laughs> this, this is funny. Hey, everybody. What's been going on? Oh, we've been waiting for <laughs> you. Oh, oh, hi, Ernie. Hi. How's okay. life? Good. Well, now, now, How are you? Yeah, now that you're here, we're much better. <laughs> yes, we're complete. We're, our lives are complete. Yes. Let, the game, okay. let the games begin. <laughs> yes, yes. I, know, I no longer have to wish to become a millionaire. Ernie's in my life. I'm good. Oh, no. Ernie. <laughs> Ernie. 
we're going to do role playing. play now. Yes, I'm we're trying we're to listen to we're gonna listen to Belinda yes, here. She's yes. gonna she's gonna walk we're us through role playing. Role playing. Yeah. So, so Belinda's gonna walk okay, us Belinda, through role playing. Ahead. Belinda's gonna okay. walk us through role playing. I'm a I'm a duck gangster so far. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with the role play at hand, but so what? <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay. <laughs> So let's let's say that I call you on the phone because some people I talk to the phone. Some are going to be, Skype people mostly are. It's either like if I have to need my hands free, I'll put my headset on that I don't have on my phone because that one broke. Um, or if it's international, I definitely have to talk to them on Skype instead of phone. As long as I have some kind of voice, that's the that's the important thing because I'm not about the type of conversation. It's not going to happen. Okay, so. Um, I call you up. At, let's say I, I, you're in, you're in company A, B, and C, or something like that. Okay, so I call you up. You don't know me from Shinola, and then I say, "Hey, Carrie, uh, this is Belinda. My name's Belinda Condell, and I was at your website. Blah blah blah. Do you have a few minutes that we could talk?" Sure. Great. Thank you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your company? What exactly? I was to their site, but I'm a little confused on it. it is this uh, is this widgets or is it just pet rocks? Widgets or pet rocks? <laughs> yeah, it's just, let's go with widgets. <laughs> it's just role play, guys. Yeah. Okay. No, I would, okay. I would go with I would have gone with pet rocks, but okay. <laughs> Exactly. We know. <laughs> it's not going to turn out well. I could tell already. Okay. So, um, so how long have you been doing that for? Oh, about four years. Okay. Well, do you have a, what, what do you do for a living besides this? I stay home with my kids. Oh, okay. So this is your only means of income? Yes. Oh, so you're doing really well then, I guess. Sure. <laughs> okay. So, um, so are you at the six figure income then I gather? No. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, what what do you find that you're struggling with that that keeps you from doing that? Um, getting leads and getting people to convert. Oh, okay. Well, I could probably help you there. Would you like that? Yes. Okay, great. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's have a time where we could you know talk one on one. I could block out time and just give you my total attention, and you you can ask me any questions you have, and I'll show you a few resources and you know see what. But fits your, you know, what you fit your means. Uh, by the way, what do you have put aside for your monthly budget towards growing your business, you know, to keep it afloat? About two hundred dollars. Okay. Well, we could probably work with that. We'll see what we have because I want to get you your money's worth. So this way, you really can get your business out there. Does that sound fair? That sounds great. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you. I have at eleven. Is that good for you tomorrow? Eleven. Yeah, that should work. Okay, well, if not, just give me a call or email me. I'll give you my info, and you know, we can go. We can just set up a time that's good for you. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, now that's just one of the many ways I do it. I go with the flow of the call because some people are going to be their personality, like the four colors. I go by that as well. It's a yeah. variable thing, but that just gives you an idea of one of the many ways I do it. Okay, that's interesting. And what do you do with the people who say they really? We don't have much money to invest at the moment. Okay, well, guess what? You be my next role play victim. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I call you up and you give me. I give you the same thing. Okay, so you're the guy that doesn't have a lot of money. Okay. okay. Well, what are you doing right now to grow your business? Well, I'm trying to get uh, my brand out there. I'm trying to get myself seen in as many places as possible. I do a lot of traffic exchange and safe list marketing and so on. Okay, how's that working for you? It's working okay, but I need to work harder at it. And since um, I don't have uh, a lot of income to invest in it right now, I do offline work as well because I have to get the bills paid. Right. I was just that was my next question is what do you do for a living to keep yourself afloat besides and also, you know, keep your business running? Okay. Yeah. So you're stuck on the financial part, but you have the, the motivation and, and the and the will to yeah. want to make this work any way you can. Right. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, I am against borrowing money. Some people would have you do lending or crowdfunding or something right. like that. Um, that's okay in certain situations. There are exceptions to that. But in most cases, I would uh, the, the 
I don't know if you're a believer, but I'm I I am a Christian, and I the Bible does say to be the the lender, not the you know borrower. Right. I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much is what it says. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do like to live by that principle. Um, but in a dire situation, I could see you doing it. Not because you don't trust the Lord, but you know, it just depends on your situation. Mm-hmm. I'm not answering that. That's you know marketing probably because my real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, telemarketing. Okay. Sorry, guys. Don't interrupt my role play. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no, God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they, so, made me, they made me the nervous duck. So basically, so basically, well, how about this? I don't really do this for a lot of people, but I could see that you are serious and you have the drive, and I have a sixth sense about these things. Would you be willing? Are you good at Are you good at sales and closing, or do you need to be trained on that? Uh, this is something I kind of need. I mean, I'm good at marketing, but I'm not very good at closing. Because I was going to say, if you can sell a couple of my lead resources, you can mm-hmm. earn yourself the money, or in trade, just get the lead resources yourself, and then we can help you close those leads. Okay, so do you have like you another know? avenue? Do you have like an affiliate type set up or something? Well, we would have an agreement. It, mm-hmm. I don't have a website. I do this freehand. Okay. And basically, I split a 50-50 with you. I'm very generous on commissions. Wow. Sounds interesting. So you just don't get paid if you don't do the work. I do this with outsourcing all the time, but okay. for people like yourself that are in a dire situation, okay. I extend it. But you have to show me that you're serious. I sure. will give you a test run um, and in the meantime I do give you know free training so I will help you improve on your safe list and other marketing methods I do teach SEO you know and all these other avenues that you want to learn so we could okay. also do that as well does okay. that sound fair sounds very fair more than fair okay great well we'll do that then we'll set up appointment tomorrow and you know we'll go from there okay sounds good I appreciate okay, great. It. Ten cents. okay so okay so this may or may not work I don't know I'll just give me okay. a second here I'm trying to get in uh, we may be back online here I don't know if it's gonna spice it together or if it's just gonna right, we'll find out in a second here uh, <laughs> oopsie what's this button for yeah, ooh. <laughs> That's it. okay so there was a little glitch we lost power here at the office so our uh, our connection went down but we're back up. It says we're back online, so we'll see what it does, if it spices it or if it makes two separate videos. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so what, what were we talking about? We were talking... Do I have to do this all over again? <laughs> well, you, don't, you don't have to. It was natural the first time. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to, but this is the way it goes, you know? This is the way the ball okay. rolls. Take two. Where's your, you need your little slot thing. You take two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The thingy thing. Yeah. A little slap thingy. Okay. I forget what it's called. Q. What do they call it? I forget. I have no idea. I, I used to know the name. I don't remember now. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. What is it? Uh, uh, no idea. No idea. I want to get one, and I'm going to put Murdoch on it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to splice them together. It, it just dropped. Bang. <laughs> where did I leave off at? I don't even know where to pick up at. Well, you know, you were you were talking about how to get people. Um, no, I mean where his thing cut off. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah about. Uh, yeah. You're, we're talking about uh, getting people to join uh, cold call. Uh, cold calls, and Ernie was saying how people were nervous, and uh, you know, and, and some people just like I was saying, some people just are not meant for cold calls. Some aren't. Um, right. And, well, and well, Ernie, what I was. What I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. And Ernie was talking about, well, you know, some people have issues and um, you have to get in touch with those issues and then help them in that way. And then remember, you picked up, you picked up on that thought and you were continuing with it. Okay, so I just didn't want to, you know, go back too far if, I, if we yeah. had some of that already recorded. Uh, yeah, I was saying that a lot of coaches, mentors, they, 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 they talk about, you know, skill sets, which are important, don't get me wrong, because yeah. you obviously need those. But a lot of people are, hold, hold themselves back because they're not aligned with their heart and mindset. Like, if we're not aligned in our spirit, which is where it all starts at the core, and then manifest to our mind, but then it can't stop there. See, the mind, ideas come and go, our beliefs can come and go in your mind. But once you get it in your heart, it stays. Mm-hmm. So for that reason, um, you have to be aligned in your mind and your heart set because until you're 
until you have yourself right that way, you're not going to do the things like your skills. You're, mm -hmm. You know, as a coach and mentor, I don't just uh, simply show them how to grow a business. I, I, I help them to grow themselves. Yeah. I find out what their talent, skill sets, passions are, their you know, their interests. And I build a skill set around that uh, according to their background of what they know or don't already know. And then if I can I, I build I flip it into a profitable business or help them find a program if that's what they want to do that's tailored to you know, because you want to love what you do and be profitable at the same time. But if you don't feel like you deserve that, you like some people self sabotage. Whether it's relationships, business, you know, it's a lot of psychology and spiritual things. This is, uh, this is true. I mean, I I approach that when uh, with teaching English because you know people often tell themselves uh, right away that they can't improve or this is too hard for them and this and that and the other thing, and you know, and I don't just focus on like grammar and vocabulary and all of that junk. I, you know, I try to get in touch with the people and let them realize, okay, you know, you can do this and you don't have to be perfect at it, but, you know, you need to get out here and do it and you need to do it as much as you can and I'm going to help you do that. Now, what problem do you have as far as you yourself with speaking English? And then, you know, they bring these things across to me and and I help them to get over those hurdles. So, because a lot of times it's a, a lot of times it's a confidence problem, you see. And and once they realize that, hey, you know, I can speak some English and I can say some wrong things, and and John is not going to shoot me or something like that <laughs> and stuff. And and well, you know, wow, okay, this actually does work. And and when they get that when they see the international number at work they don't have to run to the bathroom all of a sudden you know they can actually be brave and, and, and pick up the phone and, and, and speak. but they have to have that confidence first and I've had students tell me um, after having uh, my course for a while that you know they have much more confidence in speaking English and that is the very one of the very first things that they need if they are going to advance and you can apply that to business and life you see i agree with that and i know that i'm a natural social butterfly but i used to be very shy when it came to phone sales telemarketing the whole nine yards it did take me time to grow that confidence but it, it was possible and you know here's the thing there's going to be people that you'll come across you could do you could you want it more bad for them you'll want it worse for them than they want it for themselves and that can't be the case okay those people you just can't you can only do so much with them they're the people that if they have deep pockets they can just throw all their money into advertising marketing you know uh, pay-per-click seo or have somebody outsource it you know whatever and they're the people that they're going to need a lot of money because they're going to go through a lot of people until they get to the people that are going to get sales with them and they can do that but is that duplicatable is that what the average person can afford to do no you can't afford not to grow yourself in most cases for most of us cannot afford not to the teacher remains a student you never stop learning and growing I'm a mentor I'm a coach and guess what I go to mentors I go to coaches every day you know the internet itself it's always evolving exactly. that in itself you got to keep learning exactly. but just even the the psychological and, and emotional and spiritual skills you definitely keep growing that yeah. in itself I mean you just you never arrive and those who think they have are the ones that need to learn even more so exactly right and this is one of the cool things about when you come to the Mardock site for instance you see stuff okay you see training videos you see you can learn about this you can learn about that there's stuff there to do really motivated and really wants to do something in this industry you know it's a wonderful place to start or to continue or to do whatever but um, the opportunity is there but it's like you said 
Belinda, you you can't make the people do it. You know, they have to take they have to take the initiative and do it on their own because uh, for instance, um, Nelson and I had somebody on Skype the other day. And he ended up in the, in in the Mardox room somehow, and um, and then Nelson went through the trouble of having you know helping him to to that's your antenna, of helping him to um, to sign up and everything as a free member and stuff, and then all of a sudden he wasn't there anymore, and what we think was that he realized that he actually had to do something in order to become a success you see and, and he wasn't interested in that and all of a sudden he was gone and which is a shame because the industry is filled with too many people with that mentality and it has to change and when you come to Marta you have the opportunity to like you said learn and grow that, that's true There's, here's a situation I had uh, like maybe three weeks ago I was calling a prospect about a, a, one of my top tier programs that I'm in, okay? And they were the they were a lead of uh, you know they were like a real estate agent broker, so you know they're the kind of person that would do high high end sales. So I call them up and they're like, "Well, I've never done a home based business before, but I heard they were all scams." You know, one of those type of mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. they, they already had their mind made up, and I don't know why they even bothered, but. Right. Um, you well, know, well, and they, they are, kept giving they me all these excuses of why this probably looks like a pyramid and all this other stuff, which is far from the truth. And, you know, so basically I said, well, I'll tell you what, there are a lot of scams and there's a lot of, you know, uh, real opportunities out there. I can tell you one thing, if you're looking for a job online, that doesn't exist. They're all scams that they say they're jobs. The only exception is that you go to a physical job and arrange to work at home, like my, my older sister does that with her mortgage thing. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you can get a work at home business, which will take money to make money because it's like any other business, except that you don't have to take a loan at a bank because it's a little bit more affordable than that. But it is a top tier program. And from what your application says, you're looking for high-end sales, so this is exactly what the kind of thing you're looking for. Yeah, now, yeah, if you think it, it, that you can find something that's more suitable for you, I I do encourage you to go look at the thousand other companies out there. You will have to treat your search like a nine-to-five job because it will take you that long to search every company. Let me know how you do when you come back. And she's like, I don't have time to do that. I said, well, then you could do you could do two things. You could either search it or just go back to your job. She goes, well, how much are you making? I said, well, let me ask you this. Does what I make pay your bills? Mm -hmm. She says, no. I said, That's, that, it doesn't. I said, first off, what I make, you probably will never make. You may make more, you may make less. That's up to you. I said, but I will teach you the skill set to do what I do. I said, but let's just, let's be honest here. When you're ready to find excuses to join and do something with me, rather than excuses to not do anything you let me know you have a great day and god bless and then i hung up i took the took i did the takeaway Thank because you. i ain't playing that game right yeah right right, right. right. And, and the thing is uh you, you, you clicked on something that was really borderline when people ask me how much do you make i answered to them flat out it's none of your business um, it isn't unless yeah. you're an llc or corp you're not allowed to legally show them anyway yeah, oh well, yeah, well I know I'm legally allowed to show them that, I, that how much I make, but no nobody needs to know how much I make personally, not the business. Um, and oh well, uh, yeah, if you're in Canada, I didn't know it was different than the U.S. laws. No, 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 it's not that. Uh, if once you tell people how much you make, you're <laughs> essentially telling them um, like uh, like um, off the uh, what do you call it um, behind the scenes, like subconsciously, you're telling them how much. <laughs> Uh, they could potentially make, and that's not yeah. right. That's yeah. just you're yeah. not, you should not do that. And, yeah, that's, and well, I like any email email. that's another thing that's very that's a very important point because that's one of the first things that people ask. Well, how much are you making? And it's like you said, Nelson. What's up? It's none of their business. I do say that to them too. Don't get me wrong, but I yeah, try yeah. to be professional, polite about uh, it. Uh, we can't always we can't all be rude like Nelson, you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you He's the Donald Trump yeah, but, of our team. Hey, um, I don't want to. I don't want to be impolite uh, on this conversation. <laughs> Ernie did want to come in and talk about some stuff on his side. Um, okay. Can we switch over to Ernie because yes, I wasn't going to run yeah. out of time? And poor Ernie, Ernie was waiting all week for this. 
Well, actually, I just wanted to, uh, today I wanted to come and uh, have you guys take a look at a test I'm doing. I'm trying out the IntelliPlayer. Uh, it's an, just another one of the uh, website players you can use for a simple splash page. And I did a test page, and I used Mardox, of course, as my uh, my test. And uh, if you guys would take a look at it, give me your thoughts, uh, see what you think as far as uh, what do you think that player is a good player, bad player? It's what terrible. do you think? It's, terrible. it's a completely, concept, bad it's, concept. It's completely terrible. It's awful. I wouldn't touch. I it haven't even seen it yet. I think it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now the joke. Now the joke is I haven't even looked at it yet. So <laughs> yeah, let, let me give you the link first, okay? Now it's like hell. Yeah, give me okay. the link. Give me the link because I'm gonna put it in the top of this in the video here at the same time too. You can see we already had our answers ready before we saw your site. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, the link is, uh, of course, www uh, real ways to earn online dot info. Okay. Real ways to earn. Can you, can you type real, it real, yeah, can you can you type that in Skype uh, so we can just copy and paste it like like uh, uh, Melinda said? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I'm figuring well, this thing. Well, actually, I'm uh, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm a fast typist. Oh, oh. cool. Yeah, real real ways to earn online dot info slash. Mardox dash overview. You Wait, put, real you way put my name on this? Earn online dot info slash Mardox dash overview. I just came online. Oh, too bad. I already got it. You're putting it in the group or the. Uh... Yes, the group. Okay, the group. If you're if you if we're in the Zoom room, you can also do the chat thing there. I know, but you have to undo the chat for people to see, and they may not think. You know. yeah, like yeah. Actually, it'll yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the web address in the actual video, so it's at the top okay. of the video. Also, for those of you that are watching this video later on, it's uh, all our links are in the description below. I got an error four hundred four. I got a. I, I got did a yeah, I got a page not found or any. Mardox slash overview. Is slash, dash, slash or dash? dash overview. Yeah, so it's real ways to earn online dot info slash Mardox slash overview, yeah. right? Mardox dash overview. Dash, dash. Oh, dash. Okay, let me. I can do Thanks, this. Thanks, Belinda. You know what? <laughs> You're lucky I'm not there, but you know what your wife is, so just remember that. Yeah, don't 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 tell her to hit me. Please don't. I, I I'm I'm gonna be her extension. Yeah, no 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 no. You don't no you gotta you gotta pay your lifetime membership for that first. Oh yeah, don't worry, I'm I'm rushing to do that, trust me. <laughs> rushing to do it, yes. She it, it, Belinda has, has started a uh fundraiser just for just for that, I think. Yeah. It's all the perks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wow! I put I put the text in um, uh, white white on uh, white on white. I'm so that's good. real good, Nelson. Yeah. Uh, select color. Let's put it. Let's put it red. There, red. Let's put it red. There we go. And oops. So. Dash overview. There we go. Okay, everybody. There. Um, why is it gradient? Hold on a second. What is going on here? Oh wow. Hey, that is neat. Let's put the second color blue. I like it. There you go. I'm gonna put the it's second blue. color blue. There we go. Hey, I had no idea what he's talking about. No. Well, you gotta you gotta go see it on the. Uh, the you go have to go see the finished product of the of the video. Um, okay, Ernie. Explain to us what we're looking at here. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what you're looking at because I don't have it up there. Uh, I just walked <laughs> around with it. I got a dog. That, uh oh, my power just went out. I got a dog that's driving me crazy here. Um, anyway, uh, what I did is I took this uh, this IntelliPlayer thing, and uh, I I've been looking for good ways to drop in a video on a simple. Can you share screen, Ernie? Pardon me. Yeah, share screen, Ernie. Uh, I don't know how, how do you do. Can you that? share screen and um, show it? Can I do it? On the bottom, there's a share screen button. You can oh. see underneath our videos here. Yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> Let me yeah. see if I can bring it up. Oh, yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to become. I can't wait to make a lot of millions of dollars with this site. I just can't wait to have you guys help me become a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you'll have to pay us seventy-five percent commission. 
<laughs> no, I, no. I, I, I'm hoping by like you know maybe a month from now I'll be a millionaire. Yeah, that's it. Everybody else tells me I will be. That's it, Ernie. Did you uh, did you show screen yet? I'm trying here. All right, here we go. Can you guys see that? Yes, we can. Yep. Yep. No, it's uh, there. Okay, well, the video's not loading. Um, I saw the video on my site, though. I did, did you see a video on your site for yeah, whatever reason? Yeah, I did. I saw it on my site as well. I, I, I can't. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an Nelson uh, video. Let me see if I can uh, reload it. Maybe it'll come up. Oh, no, that's interesting. I don't know why I'm not good. Nice. Getting... But you guys are seeing it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I saw it on my own, like when I clicked on the link and did it on my own browser. Okay. Right. Yeah. So what, I, what I'm doing here is I, I'm taking, uh, I, I needed to use obviously a, a, a video from somewhere. And um, uh, so I took the, the Nelson introduction video to introduction of Murdox. And uh, I basically have a uh, blank uh, setup on a WordPress site. And uh, that WordPress site just uses a simple Stripe background like this. And it allows me to do basically endless pages that, you know, do anything I want with. And uh, none of them are linked to each other. So uh, that's what I use to make my splash pages and uh, occasionally squeeze and, uh, squeeze and scrap capture pages. And uh, this one, I this particular player also has the ability to, uh, to impose... Um, little pop-ups you know with right. a link right so if you're watching the video it should be one that comes up I think at 20 seconds or so into the video and then I have it coming in later uh, I think at 40 or 60 seconds and uh, it comes up for about 20 seconds and it just says join today and it's got a you know it's got a, a clickable link in it but I'm just not this is the first time I've really done anything this with with the videos and uh, typically, I just you you know make simple graphics oriented splash pages, um, and uh, I just wanted to want to get your thoughts on it. Uh, do you think this is something that that uh, would be effective? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it's, it looks good? I think it looks good. It's a good start. It's a good tool. Yeah, the idea is just to just to grant a simple uh, or, or yeah. basically to, to direct people to the site itself. Yeah, uh, yeah, a good job for page. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's strictly splash, strictly splash. Right, but, yeah. I think uh, it, did, it did a job, I think. And then, it, then I dropped in the, uh, of course, the Mardox banner here, with it, which is clickable and uh, right. opens in a new link. Everything I've got set up opens in a new link in case I, uh, yeah. you know, of course, I'm using that uh, anywhere from traffic exchanges to uh, right. uh, safe lists and whatnot and uh, mailers. Um, but uh, uh, in my own mailings, I, I would direct differently to my my own list but, sure, uh, of course, of course. but the idea here is just to just to glean some leads um, and right, uh, right. if it's effective and it looks good i'll make more of these um and perhaps i'll have a couple of shorter overview uh videos that this one's you know the full video or uh, maybe i'll just go in and edit that a little bit more uh, you know and uh, uh so it's shorter and uh use what that it, but um all right. Well, that's what I wanted to know because this is new to me, and I would just want to know if it was coming oh. across well. Would it look okay? What do you think it would be? Something that would be reasonably responsive. Um, some of the other uh, graphics-based uh, uh, Mardox splash pages like this I've done have not been quite as a, that effective, and I understand that sometimes video will pull a little better. Well, well, what are you using to make your sites with? I'm sorry. Say that again. What What are you? What tools are you using to make your sites with? Because I'm handicapped that way. What am I using to make the sites? Yeah, I have tools, oh. paid and free. But how are you doing it? Like, what are you doing to make your splash pages? Oh, that's what I was saying. I'm. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I have a WordPress. Uh, just set up a WordPress site on realwordsternonline.info. And uh, if you go to that page, it just has nothing really. It just says uh, there are lots of ways to make money online, so on and so forth. But. Uh, what it, what it does, it allows you to set up individual pages like this, and uh, it's just a strictly a blank thing, and none of these pages are linked, so you don't have the full WordPress, the usual WordPress blog configuration. It just comes up as single pages like this. Oh, I do and a WordPress so, and GoDaddy. Yeah, it, well, you could do the same thing like this. I, I don't even know where I got this template from, but... Uh, I, I, I want mine to look really professional, but not difficult you know user friendly warm inviting but you know like they'll, they'll, it, it makes them want to join that's mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. i would like to do make it inviting but yet professional at the same time okay, yeah so that's 
that's the same thing. You know, I was thinking about what you were saying earlier in your talk and, and also what John was saying. And, uh, I, you know, getting a little off subject here, John was saying that uh, Nelson, you and John, you, you and Nelson were working together on with this uh, prospect and, you know, they were free and they never did actually come in or they came in and bailed out as fast as they came in. It's like, you know, there's prospects and there's parasites. There's professionals, <laughs> there's professional, there's pro professionals and there's parasites. And if a person is going to be a uh, true prospect, he has to have that professional mindset that I'm going to become, I'm going to be a professional. And uh, otherwise you have a parasite and they want to ride along on your back like the little birds that ride along on the backs of hippos and the, you know, in, in, in Africa and whatnot. And, and they, they're just looking to see what they can leech off from you and uh, what you're going to do for them. And honestly, they are interested in what you're going to do for them. But the best thing you can do for them is, you know, teach them how to fish so they can eat. Exactly. Them. And that's the cool thing. That's the cool thing I like about uh, when you come to Marnox because it shows you what you can do to help yourself. And, um, and then, you know, and if you need help, there are people here to help you but you are shown how it is that you can do what you need to do in order to get started or continue or whatever, but it's up to you to, um, to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, that, and there, it's very frustrating, you know, when you're online and it seems like more and more people are becoming blind to everything from splash pages to capture pages. There's just so many. And, and, right. you know, the whole, they giving away an ebook and capturing someone's address and all that. Mm -hmm. That's not so hot anymore. That's not as powerful as it used to be. Because oh, everybody's hearing it. Yeah, and, and there's so many freebies out there. Everything's so freebie based is that yeah. people got that mindset, you know, I want to come in with nothing and I want you to make me thousand dollars by the end of the week. <laughs> you yeah, know? I, I Notice I said I want you to make me a thousand dollars by the end of the week, you know? Yeah, and I got a pro I got a problem with a member being a membership site. I got a lot of people I get that come in and they say, Well, I can't uh, I don't want to afford nineteen ninety five a month and I say, Well, how much do you want to pay? And I'm thinking uh, you know, they, they, they can't afford 15 and then they'll, they'll turn around and they'll say, uh, I'm a member at uh, three or four different places where I'm only paying $5 a month. And, yeah, duh, uh, you got the heads up. That's it, you know, so it's like everybody's looking for cheaper, 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 but ultimately what you're going to wind up getting is cheap, but like, you know, dollar store cheap. Yeah. Yeah, it, well, you know, yeah. in the case of Mardux too, you know, I mean, what they upgrade for $20 a month or is it still 20 uh, yeah, 1995. It hasn't changed. Yet. Yeah, 1995. They upgrade for that, and they, they they log in every day. They get the order, so they're getting they're going to get 750 back. They log in every day, right? Yeah, that's so, right. That's right. You know, it's like so subtract that from that, your 20. And, just... and that and that 25 cents a day thing actually was only supposed to last 30 days, Oops. and it it's become such a, a a thing that people love logging in for to get. I we never took it down. It was, I didn't know about that. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> well, now you know, Belinda. Do the reading. Come on. <laughs> I would. I, okay, here's the thing. In my defense, I'm going to be serious now. In my defense, I am a quick learner, and I do. I, when I join something or buy a software, I'm the first one to go ahead and start fiddling around with it and, you know, figuring things out. It's just that when I have five different projects going on at the same time, and I just met him yesterday, I hadn't had a chance to do any of that yet. Yeah, yeah. Normally that, that would have been already done. That's right. That's right. In my defense. So Belinda has a lot of uh, homework tonight to do. <laughs> I so mean, do she, you. She's got to catch up to at least Ernie's level here. No, please don't bypass well, that level. No John, John is oh, gee, diamond. Ernie is now. The yeah, Jer Jer John is triple diamond. Ernie's what? Ernie, what are you at? <laughs> Bronze? <laughs> Just remember, when you make my website there, I want it gold plated. Uh, yeah, well, well, I'm working on it. I'll, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> we're gonna make. We're gonna make it so when Belinda logs in, everything. We should wrap this up. Yeah, everything's gonna literally be gold. gold, glitter, gold, bright lights, everything. 